baby boys It's the biggest mama mia The unladylike diva Lyric old man eater Believer And when you say it mama mm -hmm. That's what made me think of that But you know what's so funny The love and respect you have for her, She said on the song I'm that bitch right Of course Right That's how the fight started A, a fan was really saying That's what mama <laughs> That bitch But Corey Miller C And that was her baby Yeah You know Corey C Don't was everything Don't call her that and he thought he was calling out his name. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I got a question. I know that we interviewed Sharani last time when yeah, we were we here. Did. Yeah, we did. And she spoke about Mia X and, you know, how much she's like a daughter to her mm -hmm. and how she got, how she was working Mama. there and how she got her deal and stuff like that. I know you know her very well. Tell us about Mia X. By four. Lyricist wise, we're gonna start there. Eighty five percent of the men couldn't touch her. Mm. I promise you that. Wrote every every lyric, never had nobody write for her. Very intelligent, you know what I'm saying? Very historic, cultured, you know, uh knowledgeable activist, um, but was the sweetest heart, you know, because we were all away from our mothers. Mm. And this was, this, she did something that I think really was one of the reasons why we all became strong. Her thing was she would cook and while we doing music. And then we had to sit down and eat together. So if I didn't know you and we wasn't from the same way, we still sat down and ate together. That's dope. And she didn't allow if we had our girlfriends back home or wives, you know, you were not if you wanted to holler at a female around her and she knew you had a girlfriend or a wife, that wasn't happening. <laughs> she would make it where that girl wouldn't want to come back around or she would tell her to her face, look, I don't, you know what I'm saying, I don't play this you around. And then we'll catch one of us like if we were doing that, mm -hmm. you know, like, don't bring that around me, don't do that in front That's of me. That's commendable. And then if Man, we was having good. issues with our female, you know, in our life, she'd get on the phone, I'm going to talk to him, he's going to be all right. And then she'd sit down and like, you know, and you couldn't get nothing past her. You know, if you ever see an interview, sometimes she talk about it. She was like, oh, he was my sneaky child. Because I'm all, I will always calculate and think. You know what I'm saying? And and won't put people <laughs> in certain positions to get what I want and do what I need to do. Right. And she would be like, I know what you're doing. Don't don't even try it. You did that. Why you did that? And I'm like, mom, what you talking about? She's like, don't play with me. And, you know, Mia was so important for our mental, and then as an artist, because you didn't want to come before her on the song and then handle your business. And you definitely didn't want to come behind her and not handle your business, you know? And so, and then she demanded respect, you know what I'm saying? You didn't speak certain ways around her. You didn't act certain ways around her. She's in so many ways raised us as men away from our mothers, you know what I mean? and. You know, she always stayed on me because I was always doing something sneaky and always whatever, would not. And, and I could never get past, like, I could never get nothing past my mother. See, yeah, I love that respect and, level because you know, some men, because y'all were young at that time. And yeah. some people would, you mm. know, cuss her out. But you're not my mama. Oh, no. You man. know what I mean? Oh, you do that? You get punched in the, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you, don't let the little sweet voice, hey, fool you. <laughs> she was gangster with it. I, I. You know, you don't, you know, I come from the school, you don't divulge certain stuff, but I can uh -huh. say we, we got in this big, huge little fight once with some people. And it was first me and C, and then everybody else came. Well, I was back in C up, then everybody else came, and then, you know what I'm saying? It was a misunderstanding how it started, but, you know, we're going to be who we're going to be. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some dudes started coming up off of us because the rest of them came in there. So, you know, we fighting, we fighting, and she some, no, wait, I turn, you know, and I'm wondering, pop, here's money. So now I'm trying to get my bearings, you know, the game, get you back to the wall so you can see everything. I look up, and she's swinging that purse. And and back then, we had some guys that, 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 was, that was with us, but they didn't end up being with us once we got famous. They didn't make it along yeah, the way. Yeah, Not dead or jail, nothing. They just, we didn't, they went on about their business. We went our way and became who we were. Trust me, some of them was watching. 
and she was swinging that uh -uh. purse and handling her business. And wow. they wouldn't even have helped. Oh, man. man. She, mama was a different breed, different. man. And can, ra good. can rap. Man. I'm talking about the songs she put out, in the, and she was right there with y'all every time. You, What was your favorite Master song P, for her? Man, she would always say, I'm the biggest mama Mia. That's for sure. Baby boys, it's the biggest mama Mia. The unlady like diva. Lyric old man either. Believe her. And when you say mama, mm -hmm. that's what made me think of that. But you know what's so funny? The love and respect you have for her, she said on the song, I'm that bitch, right? Of course. Right? That's how the fight started. A, a fan was really saying, Oh, mama, <laughs> that bitch. But Corey Miller C, and that was her baby. Yeah. You know, Corey would see Don't call everything. her that. And he thought he was, she was calling out his name. And, you know what I'm saying? And he went, him and the guy went to arguing. You know what I'm saying? And the New Orleans arguments start, you know. And it was just like, that's the love, like mm -hmm. in the respect we have for her. And still to this day, like she's so close, you know, for me, like I know when I did something that might make her mad. Right. And it's almost like your real mama, like you just trying to do something like, like oh, hey, how you doing? My, I might text her. And she she's sitting just a heart back up and she's still mad. <laughs> or if not, like, why well, she hit back, hey, baby, okay. And I'm like, good, we good, we good. <laughs> you know, and you would think, like, okay, I, why? You know, that's not. That's I, I just remember her handling up being this, like, uh, and nah, 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 she come in. Oh, I'm the big man. man. She killed that verse. So yeah. whenever you see her just. In her element with these guys, like you, don't you say, think, yeah. you don't even think that about her being a female. And I can say it because I, I love music. I get the same thing with Nicki Minaj. Like, mm -hmm. like she do her thing in her mm -hmm. group of people that she deal with. Whoever it is, they got to bring it. So, oh shoot, Mia, I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. So Mia is, was doing that before. Is right, all I'm saying, right. bro. You, you got, you did not want to play a game if she was before you or behind you mm. on the song because nobody was gonna care if you didn't know. You either they were gonna skip your verse to get to hers if you didn't handle your business, or when they was gonna not listen to yours after her if you didn't handle your business. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.